Well, how do there, chums? I'm inside of the Nightingale. Server test. This will give me a good idea whether this is going to work okay. Inside of, you know, my old, um... PlayStation. You tell me about my PlayStation. My PC. But, um... At the moment, I can't get the joypad to work. It was working inside of, um... The old server test mode, but it's not working here. I'm not really bothered, I just want to get in to test the freaking... Oh, I hate all this body type A's and B's. Just have a mail of... I know it upsets a few, but... No. Okay, here we go, let's uh, scroll on down. This is... Oh, that looks like Mr. Carson from Downton Abbey. Yeah, sod it, we'll just go with him, because uh, we're, we're just going to be testing. It's not like, yeah, I'm good, I'm good, yeah, go. Character name? Me. Let's go! Sweet. Let's just jump on in. Let's just test the servers. I'm hoping I can actually get to test this. Uh, okay, people. Well, it seems to have moved on a bit. Look, I can move the cursor around with this. With this. Oh, there we go. It was one of the back triggers. There we are. Cool, yeah. Let's see. Oh, we can use the joypad. Oh, hello there, Puck. How are you, my friend? Sweet. Yes, Mr. Carson has been realised into the world. Okay, let's head on over here. Let's open up this then. Yeah, can I take all of that? I want it. Yeah, cool, yeah. Um, right. Um, I guess we just got that. Right, move all. I don't think it's all going to fit, though. I'll give it a go. Oh, look, there's loads of other stuff there, including an awesome backpack. I want that. Let's swap that for whatever that... What the fudge is that? Yeah? And if I put the backpack on... Oh, fudge in that. Alright. Oh my days, I've got loads of stuff. Brilliant, eh? Alright, anyway. I think, people, just to show you the world, I mean, I could build a base here, couldn't I? I mean, we can talk to Puck and move the mission on as well. Ah. Ah. We made it. I do like the act. With the byways left behind, your beginnings have ended. I bid you welcome to the Feywilds in earnest. Thank you! You're very kind. This realm has long been forgotten by the Fey, left in limbo, not unlike you. How fitting. And thus, here is yours to put down roots. Lovely but job, beware. mate. In short time, darkness will descend, and with it, Stygian perils. Not Stygian Laying perils. foundations will keep you intrepid, child of Earth. I will lay down foundations, though. There are nooks in these surrounding wilds. I must scrub for the knowledge I pledged. Okay, mate. Well, I think I'm going to stand quite near here. I don't know why I need this torch in my freaking hand. Let's uh, let's let's get uh, let's get ourselves a sight. Oh, great. Okay. Um, we've got... Well, that's weird. I never actually... Yeah, here we are. We've got a, we got a, we got an axe. Hey -ya! Take that tree! Yeah, there you go. That's um, just bugging up my frame rate, isn't it? Kaboom! Yeah, I don't know whether my PC is powerful enough to play this and also stream at the same time. I might have to play with the graphic settings to get it to work nicely. I mean, this is... Unreal Engine 4 people. And you can see how lovely it looks. I mean, so far it's, it's doing okay. Oh yeah, pick up wood. Yeah, pick up, pick it up. Yeah, get all that wood. You like wood? I guess you do. Pick it up. Get your wood in your hand. Get it. Okay, right. Um, I'm going to build a little base here, I guess. Then. Okay, so build. How do I build again? Lovely jolly. Got all the settings and controls. Mm, lovely. You know what? We could just go gallivanting around until we die, and I can just show you the world. Because I don't think you're going to want to see me building a house, are you? I don't know what you're going to want to see or what you're not going to see. Let's go murder something. I mean, I don't really want to stray too far from here, unless I can mark it on my map. Here you go. Let's mark this on my map. How do I put down a marker? Ah. And I'll put down a hat, because it's quite a spiffing location, this. So there you go. I'll head back to the hat, if I do want to build something. But because this is a server stress test, and I'm not going to be here for long, let's just run around and let's have a quick look see, at this world. I'll show you the world. 
that's pretty much all I'm going to do today, I think. I mean, it looks a little bit sort of bitty to me right now on my screen. Let's go into the old settings. Let's have a look at what my graphics are like right now. So video. Yeah, that's fine. 1080, that's okay. Field of view, okay, coolio. Custom preset. And I've got it on port performance. All right, fine. And it's all on performance at the moment, which, to be fair, like I was saying, my um, I guess it's it's gone with the best that it can do. We've given me the decent performance that it can. So this is about as good as it's going to look on mine. I was thinking of maybe saving my casholas and uh, getting myself a, a gaming PC after a while. But I don't know. Anyway. We can just pick stuff up like that. Look, it's pretty it's pretty quick in, in gathering stuff like this. Now, you saw me earlier when I cut down that tree. Something I didn't like too much is you've got to get the receptacle. You've got to get the little cursor directly over it. It can be a little bit finicky to pick things up. And when I was doing the uh, play test, the beta play test, I found that when I killed the enemies, the things that they dropped were quite small little trinkets. And they're always really tedious to try and pick up and pocket. But anyway, we're going to head to this point of interest up on that hill over there. It looks like a boss temple, though, inside of there, people. And I, I haven't picked up any weapons. <laughs> oh, there were probably some in those chests right at the start. But yeah, look, it, that, that's like a, a place to go and fight stuff. Um, okay. Well, at least we know that's there. I mean, I can head back over to my boxes and try and get a weapon. And we can always try and take on a bit of a challenge in there. So I can show you inside of a dungeon. Let's do that. Let's head on back up here then. Where's my little map? Okay. And which way am I headed? I want to head west. Ah, okay. Is that me there or is that me over there? I think that's me at the opposite side of that lake. So I need to head west. So I'm heading north. Ah, oh, sorry, east. I need to head east. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, there's some wolves over there. I don't really want to fight wolves. Let's follow this little road. And get back and we look for a weapon in these chests. I'd equip the weapon and then we'll go at it. Uh oh, I think the walls are on to me, people. It looks like there's a structure that's half built here already, actually. Come to think of it, look. There it is. It's like a little. Oh no, those walls are right behind me. I can hear them. They're all growly and stuff. Where are they? Okay. They're right over there in the distance. They haven't followed me. We're okay. Alright then, well, let's have a look in some of these other chests then. Right, we'll take the crossbow and have that. Oh, for fudge sake. Ah, okay, we've got the crossbow. Where's the Arons then? Give me the Arons. Lost my cursor. Yeah. I'm um, not really. Okay, where's my bloody mouse? I want that. Take that, that's a fishing rod. Yeah, we'll have, we'll have the fishing rod, please. What the? Flying fudge! Okay, we'll go back to the joypad. Alright. I have no idea what those marbles are. Oh. Plant fibre. Simple rock marbles. We take the jacket. That looks freaking spiffing. Yeah. Lovely. Take the gloves. Nice. We'll take the leggings as well, shall we? Okay. Um, is this an undergarment? Take his coat and take it anyway. I don't freaking know. Okay, right. I'm using a bit of mouse there as well because I couldn't find my bloody pointer. Which I guess we're going to find that there's a little bit of jankiness inside of here, isn't there? God. Alright. Oh, look, there's the umbrella there. We definitely need that. We'll take that as well. What the fudge are these then? I don't know. I don't know what those are. Alright, fine. Uh, and in this last chest, I think we've already had everything out of this chest. Alright, now how do I actually put this stuff on? Um, right, it's not that button then. Here we go. Let's put on stuffage. Oh, I guess it's already equipped me with stuffage. Why am I making weird noises? What's wrong with me? Oh, I don't like the rain. Alright, let's, let's get in the little shelter then. There you go. There you are. Yeah. Whew. Okay, right. Now let's try and work out whether I've actually got the stuff on that I want. Oh, well, that didn't bloody work, did it? For fudge sake. 
See, this is this is kind of what I didn't overly really get into. I mean, I know that I picked stuff up earlier, like the um, like the crossbow. Yeah, but where is it? Where is the crossbow? You know, I, I I'm sure I picked it up. Freaking not there though, is it? No. Um. All right. Fine. We go back to those chests and we try again. It, 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 maybe it's just me. I don't think it is though. I'll just hit move all and move, move all items. There we go. Look, there's right there. Human chest inventory. Well, what's what? I don't. I don't really. There we are. I'll just put them back in the boxes then. Because obviously it's the wrong menu. Oh, here we go. Now we've got it. Yeah, I'll replace the. Yeah, I want that. I want it. Put it on me. Put it on me. I want to equip the dang thing. Equip. That didn't work. Alright. Yeah. I can't even work out how to equip the crossbow, people. And I don't know whether this is like an um, early game thing. No, it's not working with this anyway. Um... I don't know how to unequip stuff. This, this is just. This isn't working for me, is it really? Equip. Equip it then. Put it in. I don't care which one you replace. Just replace one. Oh, for fudge's sake. No, I'm getting wet. Damn it. Yeah. To be honest, I don't know whether this is the game for me. Oh, look, I'm trying to get up to the hands right there. It's not even letting me go to the hands. Look, I just want to go up here, and I want to swap that for that. Put that there. Fudge, just work! Oh, it's worked now. Great, we're in. Awesome. That didn't take a freaking lifetime, did it? Right, okay. Have I got arrows, though? It would help if the things look like things, um, which they kind of do. I don't know where I've got freaking arrows, and I don't know how to craft arrows. This just could be a little bit pointless. Shall we just go in there and freaking die? Um, I think that's probably the best thing to do. Because, although that I've been really excited for this title, I have to say it's not the most intuitive. Or at least I'm not finding it as intuitive. After playing something like Power World for a while, which, is, come on, is a completely different sort of game, I think I actually prefer the fact that I can dial down the survival mechanics and play the way that I want to play on that one. Well, this one, it's kind of very much all or nothing, isn't it? Um, hold on, one second. Let's bring up the old map. Hopefully it's got that little castle on it, which is... Is that the castle over there that I saw earlier? No, no. Or was it down here? Maybe that's it, that's it, there. Oh, what the fudge? Uh, okay. It's not on my radio, despite... Ah, there it is, I can see it. I'm going to go straight there. Run like the wind! I don't know how many ammos I've got. Let's fire one, let's find out. Aha! We've got 98 shots, that do. Oh no. We've upset some wolves. Oh, for fudge's sake. And there goes my frame rate again. Yeah, I don't think my PC is powerful enough to play this at, at a successful rate. Ah! Okay, weapon number one. Hiya! We've got a wolf! Oh, not enough stamina now. Great, I'm on fire somehow. I'm gonna get buggered by some wolves. Yeah. Die, wolf! Oh great, there's another one now. Okay. Let's go then. Oh yeah, don't run because then you're going to lose all your stamina running and then that last wolf's going to eat you. 
Nah, that's probably a thing. Get out of it, wolf! Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. You're mine, wolf! I don't know what that horrible noise is at the moment, people. It seems that the audio might have fluffed up a bit. It's almost like some sort of staticky sound. I don't know whether you guys can hear it, but I'll have to watch it back later. But yeah. It's um a bit of an odd one. Anyway, let's let's head into this dungeon. Let's go get murdered. And I think that'll be my my testing done. To be honest, people, I think as much as I, I really liked the look of Nightingale as it's been going through development and how and how vested I've been inside of the testing and how much feedback I've given. I, I, I felt very much part of its evolution and it's always going to have a special place in my heart the time that I've spent with Nightingale. But I honestly think it's probably too complex for me. Too too much crafting. Not enough focus on the old exploration -y type stuff. And for that reason I don't know whether it's something that I'm going to bring to my channel as a full-time sort of thing. Yeah. It'd be nice if they put a door on every side of this thing, if it's just going to load you into an instance, wouldn't it? It's always the last side I go on. Does that happen to you guys? I'm fairly sure it probably does. Maybe I'm too high up. Who freaking knows? Can I just smash my way in? No. Alright, well I've never been in one of these before. Even when I was doing the alpha testing. Alright, we're going up here then. Okay, I kind of expected to go in at the bottom and work my way up. Not climb all the way up to the top and then work my way down inside the tower. Oh, here you go. Here's a door of some kind. Yeah, I want to go in. Let's do this! Let's go get murdered! What the fudge? Alright, oh, okay, yeah. Alright, that's fine. Okay, close. Yeah, I'm not bothered, I just want to go in. Ow! You butthead! Alright, maybe there was something I should have read. Let me in! Ah! Damn, I took damage from falling off of that thing. It'd be nice. Maybe I should have read, read it a bit more, people. Can I just smash these? Let me in! Let me in, damn you! Ah! Well, that's me dead then, isn't it? Alright, so I guess we're not going in there. Oh, hello. There's more people here. Howdy. It's I, Carson. Hello. It's me. How are you? You good? Yeah, you're looking lovely. I don't know how to get in. Um, yeah. Hello. But shall I speak to you? Maybe I should. Ah, a visitor. You're the only fine soul we've happened upon in this realm. Your appearance is almost a welcome surprise. Who might you be? You didn't see Wilson, just to the left of me. He's freaking right there, love. Okay, all right. Um, yeah, don't, okay, I'll go for that one. Oh, yeah. Oh, of course. I should have seen it right away. A talented, well-traveled realm walker. It's just that I'd hoped to find... Brilliant. There's a great many new faces in the realms of late, but there's great many stories to tell. Collecting such stories is my trade, you see. Just get to the point. I want to get in there. Yeah. Go. Cool. Come on. Whatever. Nourishment. Bloody, bloody, blah. Look, I haven't got long. I'm testing the bloody server. Oh, you are from Nightingale, are you? I'm cool, yeah. Okay, cool. Alright. Sweet. I, I, don't, I don't really go really care. Right. Die! So it looks like you can't kill them. Even though you want to. You can't kill them. Alright, fine. We head back up then, and um, we will probably get knocked all the way back down again, because that's that's the joy of joys. You know what, sod it. I'm just going to go and explore the world like I was going to do originally, people. And it doesn't look like I'm going to die. I didn't know how to use my umbrella either when I got knocked off the cliff. It's just lots of little, little things like that, which... There is no hand-holding whatsoever in this game. 
And that sound effect is really doing my freaking head in right now. So it's still a little bit far off from being complete, as you can probably tell. And you can see on my PC, the popping is a little bit horrendous, isn't it? I think I'm going to wait for this to come out for console release once they've perfected all the controls, once all the UI sort of like phoneticalness is gone, and once they've actually got it to a point where they can say this is a game. I'd still want to jump into it because it ticks so many bloody boxes. It's just the way that it plays on my PC and the way that I play because I'm not very good at reading and I'm not very good at digesting information. I tend to learn from watching other people play, watching other people's YouTube videos. I'm a little bit of a slow burn when it comes to gaming. I'm not the best gamer in the world, I never claim to be. I just enjoy gaming. And at the moment, this isn't a, in a state where I can say, yes, I enjoy this. I don't really like a lot of the actual survival elements, you know, like having to cook and having to worry when you get wet and all that sort of shenanigans. You know, but what I do like is all these points of interest. At the moment, I'm spoiled for choice. I can either go to that floating metropolis over there, or I can go to what looks like a giant freaking pirate ship. I mean, look at the size of the mast on that! Right, we're going to go to Bow, and then I think I'll probably call this a day, mainly because that audio is really doing my nutting. Let's go into settings. Let's just let's go to master volume for a second. I'm just going to turn the master... It seems a shame, though, you know. Well, that gets rid of it. But, you know, you, can, you, you, don't want to, you want to hear the sound. You just don't want to hear that all the bloody time. That's the sound effects. But we do want the sound effects. I'm just going to turn it down a little bit. Okay? Oh, that's so annoying, isn't it? Yeah, we've got that sound glitch. <coughs> all right, well, um, this is probably where I break my legs. Because I don't know how to use my umbrella. Oh, am I stuck? All right, we go this way then. We are. Is that a deer there? It is a deer, yes. Very nice. Yep. We could use our crossbow. We could have shot the deer in the face. There's a deer over there. Let's aim for the heart. Oh, it's a little bit finicky with joypad still. Oh, yeah. Gravity. I didn't allow for gravity, people. Hello, I'm a bowmaster. Oh great, yeah, just scared them all off. Oh look, there's a giant deer ghost thing there. Hello giant deer ghost thing, I'm going to shoot you in the face. You're immune to that, aren't you? Okay. I think if you kill too much of the wildlife, it actually comes into instance and you can fight with it if you want. Very cool. Oh look, there's a piggy piggy. They will attack you. See? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah! I've magically imbued my axe. Take this! Yeah. Take that, piggy piggies. Uh-oh. I think I've angered the, um, the bison god. Oh, there's a whole herd of them! I'm gonna get killed by pigs! Go die, would you? Okay. Right, well, we killed all them. If I had a knife, you can skin them and butcher them and all sorts. I just want to have a look around. Very nice. Very nice indeed. But then when you come to these sort of places, is there any loot? Uh, okay, we've got something here. Your ankle has been sprained. That's a shame, isn't it? Right. Pretty nice. No real sort of treasures though. No real treasures to be had there. Just a... I don't know what that was. My green thing. Alright, now I've lost sight of that giant pirate mast. How the hell can I lose sight of that? Oh, there it is over there. I can see it. 
You see that there's two planets. It's not Earth. There's like uh, two planets in the air, like or moons, I should say. There could be planets. Who knows? Build a rocket ship. We go there. No man's sky. This game. No, you can't do that. But you know, be cool. You could. We head through here. Oh, that um, that weird fizzling noise has stopped now, which is good. Oh look, there's a whole freaking camp here. Oh man, this is freaking epic. I wonder how random this is though. I mean, I know it's all like procedural generation and that, isn't it? Could I know then, I guess? Nah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, why do I want to do this? Ignite. Oh, there we go. Nice, there we go. Get warm. And I, no, I didn't want to extinguish it. Hold for more options. I want to cook something. No. Oh, for fudge sake. I'll oh, stop cooking something then. Alright, let's go in there. And nothing is simple inside of this game. You know what I mean? Alright, let's see if this tells me how to get rid of a barrier. Release Hope Echo. Uh, Sir Marcus, the most totally irrelevant indeed. Harsh man of middle ages. Yeah, okay. Blah, 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 blah. There's no instructions on how to open this. Alright. Okay. And then, let me in. Yeah. I don't know how to get in these. And nothing comes up to tell you how to get in them. They don't say, oh, you, you need to... You know what I mean? Maybe it's because I haven't done any of the tutorial above me right here. Maybe it's because I haven't done any of that. I don't know. But inside of the actual video that they put out, they did say, play however you want. You know, just go around, do what you like. Well, I can't get in there. It's probably because I haven't done the steps in the old tutorial. I just figured I could just run about, gallivant, kill things. Well, you've seen me kill a few things. You've seen me go to a few points of interest. You've seen what this game is kind of like. I would say it's, it's great. Apart from, for me, I need to spend more time going through the tutorial and learning this game properly. But at the moment, there's nothing inside of it that is really overly pulling me to do that. You know, with Dragon's Dogma around the corner, and the fact that I'm really into power right now, this one just feels like... Even though it's got some really great ideas in it... I don't know. I'm going to wait for it to come to console. I'll wait for it to come to console, and then I think I'm going to jump in properly on this game. Because at the moment, with the graphics being a little bit sort of blurry for me, and the fact that I can see right now my, my actual webcam has lost a few frames as I've been trying to play this, I don't think right now my PC is powerful enough anyway to bring this to my channel in a decent and enough way. I mean, looking at it on the smaller screen, on my laptop screen, on OBS, it looks freaking beautiful, though. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to watch this back before I make a proper decision. And it is actually working quite nicely with the joypad. The only time it's not is inside of the menus. They really need to do something about menus on the old joypad, because I couldn't tell what inventory was what. Oh, what's this place that's all lit up like a freaking Christmas tree? Oh, look! It makes musical notes. I would like. What are you? I like the sounds. Very cool. Puzzle piece. Activate mechanism. There we are. Oh, fuck off, pig! Yeah. Aggressive little swine. Whoops! You made me hit the puzzle piece! You made it go red! Frickin' git! Oh, now I've buggered it. Oh, great. Oh, no, we've got a, we've got a demon! There's a frickin' demon! Take that, demon! Oh, spawn of Satan! Oh, this one's got a lamp for a head! Take that, you! Have it! Oh, there's a whole freaking tribe of them! It's like something out of Hellraiser. I wonder if I, if I, if I made it go blue, maybe I would have got some nice guys turn up. But it, ah! What was that? A red cloud of mist came out of my backside! Okay. 
It could have been that spicy burrito I had earlier. You know, the one that I was telling you about, why I needed the mint. Oh no, look, there's a weird one there, look. Hello. Die. I got him. I freaking got him. I thought he would have got me. He looked like a boss. All right, okay, we've done something. Top of core. Let me have it. You sort off, pigs. I'm not going to hit that and make it go red again. Take that to the face, pig. This little piggy had roast beef. This little piggy had none. Oh, this little pig went wee 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 all the way. How many freaking pigs are in this game? Spot off, pigs! You know what, if I could build a base, I think I'm going to set up a pigsty. You want some as well, do you, Bambi? Oh, fudging heck. Take that, you get! Okay, right. Yeah, yeah, we, we'll do this. Puzzle piece. Activate puzzle piece! Activate! Oh, shite! You crusty shitey get! Okay, alright, that, that, that one, that one. Oh, no! There's a load of them. Take this, you! Scallywags! Scandrels! The lot of yous! Yeah, take that! Oh, okay. What a shame. Alright. There we go, people. Well, there we are. I think I'm, I think I'm going to exit out of there, to be fair. Let's uh, close that window. And let's close that window for a second. And let's uh, go back to good old me, the captain of the Steves. So you go, so that's the Nightingale server stress test. And I'll tell you what, it stressed me because I don't know what I'm doing. And, you know, I did rush it, to be fair. And I haven't given it a fair chance. Uh, even when I was playing it inside of beta, because I knew that it was beta testing and just giving feedback. And it has evolved massively. It still, in my opinion, needs a little bit more to happen to it before I really feel vested enough to jump on in but i should be given i'm hurt i've heard well i've been told that i should be given some sort of access key on day one so i will hit this up on on launch and i will be doing a first impressions and i'm going to take my time in that first impressions i'm going to do all the tutorial we're going to do all the steps and we're going to play the first hour how it should be played and at the end of it i'm going to give you my synopsis of it but at the moment because there's more action based sort of games where it is focused around sort of the exploration and the fun aspect this is more serious if you're a serious survivalist this is definitely a game for you if you're more of a casual player that hasn't got the time to invest in the resources and doing the building the gathering and all that sort of shiz and working out how to open electric doors then you're probably in the same camp as me so we'll have to see and you know there are block ways to block and things like that but I don't know. I, I'm, I just don't... It doesn't feel arcadey. I know it shouldn't feel arcadey. Not every game has to feel arcadey, but that's the sort of games I like. I don't really like games that feel too PC. I'm a console player, and that's probably going to upset people as well. I shouldn't really admit that. But I am admitting it. I am a console guy. I grew up on consoles. I grew up on the Atari 2600. And then to the Nintendo, Super Nintendo. You know, you, you get the idea. And then I moved over to PlayStation. And it's only recently that I picked up an Xbox. And uh, yeah, it's all like uh, Starfieldified. If you can see, it's all Starfieldified. I got it for Starfield, but I've been playing um, Power World on that. So anyway, hopefully you liked the little server stress test there. Just need to get clearance so that I can actually put this video online. I don't know whether we can share it or not, but it looks like the servers are quite stable. We saw some other multiplayers there. It didn't slow down when there was other players on screen. So yeah, could be good. Could be good. Anyway, until next time, people. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.